Taurus, thanks for visiting. Um, this is your reading for February. And um, as I always ask you, if you like this reading, um, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like or subscribe or leave a comment or everything, whatever you'd like to do. And uh, also, if you want to support this channel, um, there are ways you can do that in the description down there as well. So have a look down there. Um, and the other thing is I'm really grateful, really grateful to have the sponsor, to be sponsored by Keen, I should say. And um, Keen's, you know, a, a site with thousands of readers, spiritual advisors, all kinds of different things on there. Um, it, it's an affordable way to get a, a private reading if that's what you're looking for. So if you're interested in that, have a look down there. Um, and there's a link in the description, there's more information. So that's all I'm going to say about that. And um, I'll start your reading right now for Taurus. Right, so the first card you've got for your past is this Two of Cups. Okay, right, I, I, I'm getting something right away. Um, I know, yeah, I know this is in the past, but it feels like this situation's happening now. It feels immediate uh, for someone here. So yeah, this is about love with this Two of Cups here. Um, I'm just looking at this and I'm looking at the Wheel of Fortune together. So what I'm getting is it's not an in and out love. It's not like an in and out connection, which sometimes that can be, you know, turning around backwards and forwards in love. Um, but I think inside you, either it's now or it has been, um, there was this feeling of insecurity or instability inside you uh, about a love connection. And, and again, it feels like it could be happening now. So I, I, I'm getting that. So I have to talk about that because that, that's what I'm getting. So if you're in a couple or any kind of love connection right now, and you know, what I'm getting is you've risen up inside yourself. So you've really grown um, in terms of self-development, uh, you're spiritually um, grown as well, or your spirituality's grown. So you've grown in a lot of ways inside yourself. And, and what I'm getting is you're growing up and then you're stopping and you're growing and then you're stopping, which is what happens in any kind of inner growth. It's not linear. It goes up and down or it stops. And I think with you, just, just as you're reaching your height inside yourself, you're like, oh, I feel stronger now, or I'm, I've got myself on top of this problem, or I'm feeling better, whatever it is, whatever new level um, you get on top of inside yourself, and you've been doing that a lot, um, you get there and you kind of reach up to them. This is what it feels like to me. And then they're not ready. They're not on the same level as you or on the same page as you. And then they're going through some changes as well, because I'm seeing that they are going through a lot of different changes. Um, sometimes they're ready and then you're not quite ready. So it's this kind of imbalance. It's this feeling of, I'm not in balance with this. I'm a little bit up and down. I'm a little bit frustrated. I, I can't quite get onto the same page, to the same place as, as this person I'm around. That's the kind of thing I'm getting there, if that makes sense to you. So, and, and it's a bit more than that for you, because you've got this kind of, um, if this is you, you've got this kind of insecurity inside you. And I think that's come from things that have happened to you in your past. You've got this thing of, well, maybe they're not ready because they don't want me. Maybe they're going to leave me. Maybe they're hiding something from me. I don't know, because I've, I've had all this thing happen in the past, and I've had someone say to me, and I think you have had, a situation or a love connection in the past and acts that said to you um, oh everything's fine uh, and you've said to them well what's wrong I can feel that something's wrong because you know you can feel when something's wrong and they'd say to you no it, it's fine nothing's wrong and actually it was they were hiding what was wrong so when you get this insecure feeling this kind of imbalanced feeling um, it starts your mind going down that track again so I, I think that's kind of what's happening here and um, yeah, you've got you've got the eight, the other thing is you've got the eight of swords um, under this wheel of fortune, and and the eight of swords is all about not being able to move forward properly because of something that's happened in your past. So that's showing me that as well. So yeah, I think with this axe that I'm getting here, you know, you you gave everything to them. You really did. You nurtured them. Yeah, this is someone you really took. You picked them up, and you took them out of a bad place actually and you put them into a better place. This is what I'm getting for someone here. You really, really did everything for this ax. And, and when you love someone, you're, you're a generous lover on all levels, every level. Um, you, you'll do anything for someone. 
and, and because of that, there was all this devastation um, when you left this old love behind. And you can see that in this Ace of Swords, sorry, Eight of Swords, I should say. She's walking away from a past. So you've walked away from that. But I think there might still be some, I don't know if there's still heart there, but some of that insecurity it is still kind of inside you, if that's you. Um, because she's got all these swords around her, even though she's walked forward. So um, I think for you, it, it's going to take time for you to totally be able to trust um, not just this person, and it's not because of them. I don't think it's their fault. I think it's just the way, because of what's happened to you, you've got this distrust inside you. I think it doesn't matter who it is. You know, it could be the most amazing person in the world. You'd still have that feeling inside you um, because of what's happened to you. So, yeah, what, what I want to tell you is I'm not getting any feelings of maliciousness. I'm not getting any problems around this person you're with. What I am getting is someone that's going through a lot of things. They're going through a lot of problems themselves because I was getting the ups and downs around them uh, as well as you. So, so that's what I'm getting. But I'm not getting any problems in relation to you. Um, so I just want to tell you that if that's you, hopefully that helps someone. Um, so yeah, I'm just looking at this Two of Cups again. And you know, the Two of Cups, it, it can be about a, a slow coming together. It's like a coming together of the mind. You know, it's about building up those conversations, getting deeper and deeper in time, and then slowly coming together. So, um, okay, I, I just want to show you this. I'm just looking all the way across the top row now, horizontally. Um, so, um, the Two of Cups, then the Three of Pentacles, and then the Justice card. So, with the Two of Cups on the left, Again, this is about coming together slowly, having patience with each other. The Three of Pentacles can be about working as a team, working together, give and take, all that kind of thing. And then you've got the Justice card at the end here. And I was getting this sense of imbalance. And, you know, you're ready, they're not, then they're ready, you're not. And this imbalance that's inside you. And so what I'm getting here with these three is, if you're prepared to be patient, and you're prepared to communicate, and you're prepared to work together, and you're prepared to give that give and take to each other, I really think you'll come into balance together um, with, with that Justice card. Um, that's what I'm getting there, so I hope that helps someone. Um, so yeah, with, with this um, Eight of Swords down the bottom here, you know, she, again, she's moved on from her past, so I think for you, you have moved on, not just from an ex, but from a really, really different past, a different time than you're in now. It actually feels like you had an old life. You've, you've had one life and now you're in another life. It's almost like you're another person, actually. Yeah, I'm getting a total change here for someone. It's, it's, it's like, you know, I, I think completely differently to the way I used to. Um, I have different ideas. I live in a different place. Um, it might even be that you look totally different than the way you used to and and so I, I'm getting lots and lots of progression in your life and I'm all about moving forwards I'm all about moving forwards instead of looking backwards but again if you're still struggling um, with some of these things that have happened to you in your past um, in a past relationship or whatever else has happened um, you might have to go back there in your mind and you know maybe think about certain things and and why they're affecting you especially if they're affecting your relationship now so if that's you go back and think about that um because it's interesting this eight of swords is right next to the six of swords and the six of swords is about leaving something behind but not quite being able to let go of the past yet because the swords are traveling with her in this boat so um with those two together like that um, you might have to work through that and think about why you're still carrying the past with you. Um, so yeah, just, just something to think about if that's you. Uh, you might even need to go to therapy in, in severe cases um, if that resonates with you. So, so just something I wanted to point out for someone there. Um, okay. Uh, okay, I'm getting an invitation. It, it's an invitation. It might not be a formal invitation. It's, it's some, it's, it's, come and do this or come and talk to us or it's, it's something like that um it feels like people or someone people or a person you haven't seen for a long long time i don't know what what exactly this is for but it's it's i'm actually 
missing an email here. And I have to say, it feels a little bit, because I'm getting an uncomfortable feeling around this, so it feels a little bit intrusive. Um, yeah, uncomfortable. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to make anyone worried. It's not bad. But when you get this, go with how you feel when this comes in. Um, you know, if you, if you think going to this or saying yes to this or whatever this is, it's going to make you feel negative or, or make you go back um, energetically or, or make you feel bad, um, say no. You've got every right to say no to this. So I just want to point that out to someone because it feels like this is an invitation that's come from someone in that past life for you. And I think that brings up a lot of difficult emotions for you. Um, so, you know, and you know, this with this Wheel of Fortune here, what that's showing me is you've worked really, really, really hard to get out of this old life you were in, to get into the new one. Because if, if you look at the wheel, the actual wheel there, it, it looks a bit like a ship's steering wheel. And, and if you're steering a ship into a whole new direction, like if you're going along the water one way, you're going along the sea, and you want to turn all the way back and go the other way, it takes time to turn a great big ship around like that. And it's taking you time and a lot of effort um, to get yourself out of where you are. So if this, if you get this invitation, this email, and you see this and it gives you that horrible feeling of, oh, I, I just don't want to go back there, then don't, you don't have to, unless it's something crucial very important unless it's a matter you know matter of life and death or it's something very very important um, then you know you don't have to go back there you don't have to do this if you don't want to and try and resist any pressure there might be a little bit of pressure too coming to you uh, to go back and do something like this 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 whatever this is um, and yeah what I'm getting here is again because with this axe that you had you spend all this time loving them you spent all this time nurturing them you spent all this time getting them out of their old life and into a new one and you've gotten your out, yourself out of an old life and into a new one it's time to give that to care to yourself now it's time to nurture yourself it's time to give yourself that love and that care and that tenderness and that means protecting yourself from any low vibration or bad feelings so so i hope that makes sense to someone now okay the first card uh, you've got for your present is this three of pentacles here um Okay, this is something that's a little bit specific for someone. Um, okay, if you're waiting for something to come in, you know, like um, it's something like a result or a license or it might be a certificate. It feels like something quite um, uh, official. It feels like it's important. Something that with a stamp and a signature or something like that. Um, yeah, it, it's like you're waiting for this thing to come in. It's like, I can officially start. I can move forward. I can do something. So it might be a license might be a license to practice um, if you're in business or something like that. If you're a doctor or a lawyer, you might be waiting for this to come in. Um, so if that's you, what I'm getting is there's a hold up here. And uh, yeah, if I were you, I'd contact them actually, because it feels like someone needs to be reminded to, to set this going again, set these wheels turning again. Um, yeah, because I'm just looking at these three coins in the Three of Pentacles and they look like cogs in a machine and they've been turning around and then suddenly they've come to a stop. So something needs to go in there, something needs to, a button needs to be pressed or someone needs to do something to get those wheels turning again. And I think that person might have to be you. So I think, you know, if I were you, I'd contact them, I'd talk to them and, also, if you need to call them, if you need to talk to whoever this is, um, ask them if they need any more information because it feels like they're waiting on some information and they haven't done anything about that. They might have to ask you something that maybe you haven't provided or maybe there's a question mark about some information you've sent them or something like that. So ask them, is, is there anything else you need? Is, is there anything I need to clear up for you that might give you a um, a reason to call them you know if the if you don't want to just call them blankly you might say oh I'm just calling because I'm just wondering if you've got any questions about what I've sent you and I think if you do that they might say yes there is actually um, we need more information on this or it, it's something like that and I think that will kick start this it'll kick start the wheels going you will get this you will get whatever this thing is you're waiting for but I really think um, it would be a good idea if you uh, you made an effort to try and push them for this I think that that that's what I'm getting there um, 
Okay, I'm just looking at these cards together now, the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups together. Uh, yeah, I'm getting family here. Yeah, com complicated family situation. Um, it, feels like, it feels like someone might be trying to come between you and, and someone else actually in your family. Um, it looks a little bit, oh, I hate to use the word sneaky, but that's the only one I can think of actually. The person coming between you and someone else feels quite sneaky. I have to say that, that's what I'm getting. Um, yeah, this is what I'm getting. The face they show to the world, it's totally different from the face you know. You know something about them, you know what they're like. Yeah, you know what they're playing at. It's like, I know what you're playing at. I can see what you're doing. I can see what you're doing. But you're so nice to everyone else. You have so much fun with everyone else that I feel as if I can't say anything. That that's what I'm getting. Look at this, look at these three of cups, these women in this three of cups here. They're all playing around, they're all having fun, they're all laughing, they're all joking, drinking, whatever they're doing. So this person has fun with all these other people, but they're showing their back to you. Look at these three women there. One of them is showing their back to you. And you're looking at them and you're saying, I know what you're like. I know what you're like, but I can't say anything. Because if I say anything, I look like the bad one. Now, if this is you, if you know that this person's coming in between you and someone else, and again, I'm getting a family situation, you know what they're up to, there's something they're trying to do, and you, you've got them sussed out, you know what they're like. Be very careful. Try not to say anything um, right now. That's the message I'm getting for you very, very, very strongly uh, for someone here. And, and I can see, um, if this is you, you've got this on the tip of your tongue. It's like, I, I can't let them get away with this. I have to say something. You know, you as, as a Taurus, you hate any kind of injustice. You're straight up and down. And you'll come out and say, you'll say, that's unfair. I need to say something. But here, I think it's time for you to not say anything because I think if you say something it might backfire on you the other thing I'm seeing here is you've got this justice card up here so what I'm getting in that is just sit on this if this is you um, just just sit on this information don't say anything and I think what's going to happen is it's going to come out in the end yeah just just bide your time for now because I think in time more people are going to see what they're like they're going to see the reality of what this person's like and I think some people are already seeing that actually um, but yeah in time the curtain's going to come down on this justice card there's a curtain behind this woman it's not down now but it's going to come up in the future and you know the justice cards about the right outcome happening as well fairness a fair outcome so I really think you know that there's nothing you'll have to do there's nothing you'll have to do you know, all you need to do is just sit back and wait for this to happen because it's going to happen. The situation's going to right itself. Um, yeah, I, I, I really, really just think you'll save yourself a lot of problems if you don't say anything now. And also, it, it's going to come out anyway eventually. That, that is what I'm getting very clearly for someone. Um, okay, I'm just seeing this. If you're on social media and if you see this person this difficult person popping up here all the time saying things yeah I think some of the things they're saying there um, or if it's not social media it's something they're saying in public because they've got this public face um, yeah what what I think is going to happen is they're going to start saying a little bit too much I think they're going to come out with a bit too much they're going to go a little bit too far with something and then I think that's when people might start questioning saying wait a minute that doesn't add up to that and, and you've said that and it seems a little bit too much to me and, and now I'm going to start thinking about whether I really trust you you know so so that kind of thing's going to happen I think that's going to be the start of all this coming down for them the house of cards falling down for them I should say um, but yet yeah, in the meantime uh, just take a break for them because um, again if, if this is you, you're on the verge of saying something, you're right on the edge of this, and you know you don't need to do that, but protect yourself from that. Protect yourself from all this as much as you can, because time will take care of this, the universe will take care of this, that, that's what I'm getting. Um, okay, okay, I'm getting something, um, 
Okay, it feels like guidance, uh, yeah, guidance coming from above. Uh, yeah, it might be guidance coming from someone that's watching over you, um, if, if this is you. Um, yeah, it might be from someone who's not here anymore. I think I'm getting that feeling. So, um, and, and some people don't like these kinds of messages. So if that's you, if you don't like these messages, just go forward now because I don't want to upset anyone. Okay, okay, um, right, very, very beautiful. You were brought to tears at one time, if this is you, over this person. Um, yeah, it's a bit emotional. There's someone, yeah, someone loves you. Someone really loves you. Someone's guiding you. This is a small person, very small, very light person. So it might be a child, very young, very small. I keep on getting that light, small. Um, yeah, what I'm getting is I'm getting forgiveness. Um, I'm getting that this person is guiding you. They've got, yeah, they've guided you out of your old life and they've guided you into this new life. Um, yeah, this is what I'm getting for someone. Let it go. It, it's okay. It, it's okay. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Um, yeah, it, it's, this is really touching my heart, actually. You're always going to have this beautiful guide around you. Even when you feel at your worst, they're always there. They're, they're getting you through everything. They get you through to the other side. So, um, yeah, so the message here is it, it's okay to let things go. There's forgiveness, let things go, calm your heart. Um, but that's the message. Yeah, again, very young, very, very young person, very light, small person. Um, okay, I'll move on now. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to think of this anymore, it's emotional. But um, yeah, very, very beautiful energy, very beautiful energy for someone here. Okay, um, okay, so, right, so you've got this justice card up in your future, over here, here it is. Um, okay, I'm looking all the way down the right-hand side now, all the way down at this whole sequence. Yeah, there's a big breakthrough coming. Yeah, it feels like a love breakthrough. It feels like love here, yeah, beautiful. All right, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to talk you through this whole sequence here but I'm going to go from the bottom up because that's the way I'm seeing this I'm seeing this upside down <laughs> so okay so starting with the ace of swords right down the bottom here um, so okay so I'm getting more conversation happening between this person that you've that you really do love you really do have a good connection with but there's this unbalance there so I'm getting more yeah it's not actually it's not more conversations it's not like you're going to have more and more conversations it's more like quality conversations, not quantity, but quality. So you're not going to have lots and lots of conversations, especially over February and even after that. Um, but what's going to happen is I think you'll gradually start coming together. You'll gradually start coming back onto the same page. Again, I have to be honest here. It's not an increase in communication. You're not going to talk more. That'll come eventually. But now what I'm seeing is over this month, over the next month, the actual words and the timing of the words and the timing and what you're both going to say, that's what's going to slowly bring you back closer and onto that same page again and back into that balance. So, yeah, I, I think as you have more of this communication, you'll start to feel that, you'll start to feel more on the same page, you'll start to feel more comfortable, a lot closer um, and that block again that imbalance it's going to get smaller and smaller until it fades away because if you look at this ace of swords down the bottom here um, there's an olive branch on one side and um, there's a palm leaf on the other side and um, you know they, they can represent the masculine and the feminine on each side of this sword now of course that doesn't mean you have to be a male female relationship it can be any relationship it's just the way it's illustrated here but um yeah gradually as you keep on communicating that that sword that's in between you it's going to get smaller and smaller and then eventually i think what's actually going to happen is they're going to come lay everything out in the open to you they're going to open up totally to you so suddenly they're going to open up after lots of slow communication but you're going to feel more comfortable as it goes on then you've got you've got this sudden opening up this sudden opening up and, and that's exactly what I'm seeing in the Sun card um, and you know obviously in the Sun card you've got this child who's naked and um, you know what when you're naked you're at your most vulnerable you know you're laying yourself bare and you know children 
are, are vulnerable. They rely on us to protect them and, and to, um, you know, to provide for them. So, you know, the, the fact that they're showing you this side of them, that, that vulnerable side, I think what's going to happen is that's probably going to inspire you to open up to them. And then you've got this beautiful, because you have this slow coming together and then it's going to start to happen quickly. Uh, and then with this justice card, again on the top here, that's you both coming back into balance with each, other, with each other. And that's exactly what I was getting in the beginning. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, just, just keep in mind, if this is you, just keep in mind it's a process, it's happening gradually. But then once you get that signal from them, once you have that breakthrough from them, you, you'll just feel so much more comfortable in this connection. You'll feel like, okay, it's, it's not a strain anymore. It's not imbalanced anymore. It's feeling closer. It's feeling better. And that's when the sun comes out. That's when the sun comes out. So yeah, I'm really, really, really happy for you if this is you. Um, but yeah, start off with lots and lots of patience. That's what you're going to need in the beginning, definitely. Um, so Taurus, um, I hope this resonated for someone here. Um, obviously it's a general reading. Um, it's not going to resonate with every single Taurus in her world, but um, yeah, thank you so much for watching.